I have come to pray and encourage you that our God can do something about your situation. I know some of you have been stagnant for so long. You have struggled. And some of you, you are asking God to cause a change in your situation. And it seems like nothing is working. It seems like nothing is moving. But my brothers and sisters, God is still on the throne. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is still healing people. Scripture says that by his stripes we were healed. That means that healing had already taken place. So there is nothing that is impossible for our God. Scripture says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So you can do it. But it has to be through Christ. You cannot do it on your own. It has to be through the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm reminded of a story of a man of God. In fact, he was a king. He was ill. And the prophet came to him and released a prophetic word that he was going to die. Scripture says that this king turned his face towards the wall. And he reminded God of the good things he had done. This king's name was Ezekiel. For those that are scholars of the word. Or for those that read the word. And as the prophet was leaving. A word came to the prophet. And the prophet returned back to the king. And told him that God had added more years to him. Glory to God. Some of you are in that situation. Where words have been released to you. That you will not make it. Some of the words could not be even from God. Some of the words could be from your doctor. The doctor's report indicates a negative thing. But God can turn that negative report to something that is good. And the doctors will question, where did that thing come from? How did you receive your healing? Brothers and sisters, God is still in the business of healing. Some of you have marriages that are broken. Relationships that are not working well. But our God can do it for you. If he has done for others in the past, you only need to have faith. And faith pleases God. I refer to faith as the currency of this world. Some people may think that dollars are the currency of this world. But in the kingdom of God, it is faith. And brothers and sisters, you are not of this world. Though you live in this world, you are not of this world. So use the faith that is in the word. And how does faith come, come by? Faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. So the more you listen to these words, the more you listen to the word of God, the more faith that you will have in your system. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'd like to thank you for everyone who's watching me right now. Thank you for the finished work. Thank you for the healing that is present right now. Father, open up their eyes to see you, to see your goodness, to see your power. Give them the ability to use what you have already given them. Father, thank you for those that you are lifting up. And I speak a breakthrough to happen in their lives. I speak to those chains that have been holding them for far so long. The chains of oppression, the chains of pain, the chains of of resentment, the chains of anger, the chains of addiction, whatever chain has been holding them, I break it in the name of Jesus. Each and every foundation that has been in their lives, I speak to it right now. I speak to each and every evil altar that has been set up by sorcerers, by witchcraft, that has been set up by people who claim to be their friends. Each and everything that has been hindering them, I speak it down. I tear it down like the walls of Jericho right now. No more oppression. No more delay. No more financial problems in their life. Remember them, O oh God. Remember what they, they have done, O oh my God, Father. Do not let them perish in the hands of the enemy. For I believe that you are a God that speaks a word and it will not return to you void. Thank you, God, for you have protected them. Thank you for the people you are healing right now. Thank you for the people that you are setting free right about now. 
For you say in your heart that whom the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. I believe and trust that they are free. I speak freedom, life, peace in their life. In the name of Jesus, give them the erection. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.